gestures or faces behind me on the way. <laughs> I seem to be noticing more of that these days. <laughs> I, I, I've always done it. I guess I just don't watch the workouts as much as I should. Welcome back to New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. I don't get along very well with cats. That's Coach Cole. Brooklyn's hanging out here on the side. We're actually in Brooklyn today, and we're bringing you our uh, 2001 2021 Pride Boot Camp Challenge workouts. So, uh, for this, you're gonna need either one dumbbell or one kettlebell. I'm gonna be using a kettlebell for the workout. Coach Cole's gonna be using that dumbbell. We're gonna have a strength portion. It's gonna be about 10 minutes long. We'll be doing that first. We'll take a break. And then we're gonna review the movements for our conditioning portion and the format for that, and then we'll hop into it. So with, uh, I don't know, without further ado, I think they say, Coach Cole is gonna sell you warm up today. Yeah, let's get into our warm up. All righty, we're gonna put our hands behind our head. We're gonna get some butt, butt kicks going. A little over 20, how's that sound? Penny's like. Whack my hand on this TV. Time for our 20. Arm circles. Let's go forward. Both arms at the same time. So I wrote out some pride themed questions for today. And we'll switch directions. Yes. And you don't know what any of them are. I, they are. <laughs> they are fresh. They're foreign to you. Fresh to me. So we'll see. Maybe. We'll slap ourselves in the back. Feel free to come up with some on your own though. Okay. Hmm. I'll get started. Yeah, please go. What was the name of your first boyfriend? <laughs> Joey. Joey, oh man, Joey does not, I don't ever want. Doesn't linger in the brain very much. much. All right, we're gonna put our hands in front, we're gonna do some Frankenstein walks, right leg, left hand, left leg, right hand. Kick up, let's get 12 total, six each side. Interestingly enough, my sister's current boyfriend's name is Joey. That's not And right. it's her first boyfriend. Oh, how old is she? Uh, 18. Something in the family, and Joey's. She's a youngin. What's your first boyfriend's name? Uh, his name is Justin. Justin. Nice guy. Gave me a stuffed animal for Christmas. For something. Oh, that's cute. I still have it. Oh. Brooklyn almost got it once. We had a very serious conversation about oh, it. Oh, boy. And then it went up on the Well, show. let's get some air squats in. Feet where you like to squat. We'll go down and up. We'll go for another 12. Is that, is that, I guess it's pride theme. I was thinking more like actual from a pride month thing. But okay. Well, you know, we're just getting warmed up. All right. That was just okay. the first one. Right. Right. Mr. Critical. <laughs> 30 jumping jacks, please. Out and in. Start bouncing. Thought I'd uh, ease you into some easy ones. What is a good example of a pride theme question then? Like, such a critic. What's the best bar you've ever been to on pride? In one city. <laughs> Weirdly specific. <laughs> what is the best bar you've ever been to during Pride in what city? During Pride in what city? Yeah, yeah answer it. Um, so easy. I have to say pieces. It's, it's in New York. I have to say. It's one Why? Of the because it's just like, it's very small, yeah. intimate, and it's not a club. And there are lots of fun people there. Pieces. Great. Sponsored by. Okay. 10 minute ascending ladder we have coming up. So if you've been doing our boot camp workouts. I don't know why I just did this, but. Um, the, it feels right. It just feels right. I don't know if it does, but. <laughs> if you've been doing our boot camp workouts, this is a format that we use uh, pretty regularly. We have a 10 minute ascending ladder. We're gonna start on one arm. We'll be starting on our left arm. We're gonna do two cleans, into two push presses, into two snatches, into two thrusters. We're gonna switch sides. Same thing on the right arm. When we go back to the left arm, to the original arm, we're now gonna be doing sets of three. Three cleans, three push press, three snaps, three thrusters, and switching, and going all the way up for 10 minutes. So Coach Cole is gonna demonstrate these movements for us. First things first is gonna be the clean. So we have this hip hinge, finishing with that dumbbell or that kettlebell on your shoulder in that front rack position. Going into the push press, where there's gonna be a shallow dip, drive, and then finishes by pressing that overhead. Next movement's gonna be a snatch, which goes back to that hip hinge, but now we're gonna finish instead of on the shoulder, locked out overhead. And then the last one, quite a favorite, is gonna be the thruster. So you're gonna go for a full squat, stand up, and then finish with a press out. So those are the four movements that we're gonna be doing. 
If you have the option of doing a dumbbell or a kettlebell and you're not super experienced with the kettlebell, this is probably a good workout to do um, with the dumbbell just because the clean and the snatch for the kettlebell might bang up the wrists if you're still learning that technique. Um, with that being said, I think we're just gonna hop into this. I have a question. Oh, what's up, coach? If I do two of each on my left arm, do I then do two of each on my right arm? Do I do three of each? Um, I don't understand that question. So like two cleans, two push presses, two snaps, two thrusters. I yes. do it all on my left. Yes. Do I then do two of each on my right? Yes, okay. yes. So we'll keep it balanced. And so we'll do two, two, three, three, four, four. Thank you for clarifying that. We got a 10 minute clock coming up. 30 seconds. <clears throat> Your wrist is all right for this? Yeah. Well, we're we're going to find out. We'll see what happens. We're going to find out, won't we? All right. How about this? <clears throat> Lady Gaga or Madonna? Um, 15 seconds. Like, uh, like, That's the question. Like, which do I like more? Which would I rather spend a dinner with? Like, you know, or just... Starting at five. Three, two... One, I'll answer, Madonna. Two cleans are first, full we'll husband swing, catch on the shoulder. I'll get back to you in a second. Then two push presses, husband dip, drive, and punch overhead. Then two snatches, swing, pull, punch overhead. Then two thrusters, squat, punch overhead. Lots of punching overhead today, cool. Switch arms after you do it. Um, so I did the cleans, going into these push presses. Going into the snatches, and then going into the thrusters. I would say Lady Gaga. I'm going back to my original side, and now we're into threes. Three cleans, three push press, three snatch. Although I really like Madonna's Super Bowl performance. And then three thrusters. It's pretty good. Switching to my right side. Going into the three cleans. Uh, what year are we talking about for this performance? 2012 maybe? Something along the lines of that? 2010? I have no idea. Like 2000s. I think Lady Gaga needs another 10, 20 years to get to. Well, like, Madonna is just objectively 20 or 30 years older than Lady Gaga. She has more music out. Well, just... So the question is, who's older? Yeah. It was? No, the question is who, but the person with more experience, by default, is going to win if you think they've been doing a good job of it. Okay, fair. Kind of, I'll take it, I guess. You know, we're just trying to have fun here, Cole. <laughs> Onto the fours. I'm onto the fours here. I'm still on threes. Busy thinking about Madonna over here. We're just about two minutes in, so we're settling in. Mentioned this before, mentioned it again. Our goal is not to put this weight down the whole time. So we have 10 minutes. You do get rest because you're going to be switching from side to side, but you're not going to get rest and that you're going to actually put the weight down. If you need to, that's fine. Try to make your break as short as possible. And just know, as you're coming back to put your workouts, your goal in the future is going to be to try to last longer into the 10 minutes than you did last time. Who's your favorite drag queen? Ah! That was my next question. I knew you were going to like it. I'll tell you my favorite drag queen. I know who it is. It? Who is it not? <laughs> I don't care who is it. Who is it not? <laughs> Definitely not Alaska. Not Alaska. Sorry, girl. No, that's not for me. I don't I know that I can not. say. I love Alaska. <clears throat> I would just say, I know she doesn't like me. <laughs> well, I typically don't like the people that don't like me either. So I went to college with Alaska before Alaska was a name. <clears throat> she was a, the roommate of one of my fraternity brothers all through college. They got paired up, freshman dorms, and stayed together for the next three years. So that was a long time ago though. My favorite drag queen is, I hope she's still doing it, but I have no idea, 
Eat a bagel. Eat a bagel, that's a good name. Late 90s, growing up in Pittsburgh, PA. Love to look that up on Instagram. I'm gonna look that up later. What's that? I'm gonna look for her on Instagram later. We used to always go to um, this place on Thursday nights called Pegasus, which had an 18 and up night. So the bar was separated when by 18. You could go in when you were 18. You didn't have a fake ID when you were in A fake ID? Yeah. I did. Um, not the point. <laughs> the point is the story that I'm trying to tell, which is there was a, it was an 18 and up bar. So you could go into the bar area, but there was a chain link fence that separated the bar and the dance floor. So all the older people were in the bar, like just okay. looking through this chain link fence. At all the 18 year olds? Oh, well, you could go in and out and back and forth. Oh, okay. But it was still, I felt a little, even at the time, kind of like creepy and predator like. But oh. drag was super big then in Pittsburgh. And Eda Bagel sung all these like classic songs, vintage classic songs, big fan. We are just passing that halfway point, so if you have not put that dumbbell down yet, please do not do so. To the best of your ability. If you find yourself needing to rest today, you may rest on the shoulder during the cleans. If you're resting during any other movement, I would suggest you rest right up here overhead. But it's going to give you more space for air, more room to breathe. Believe it or not, it's a bit easier on the shoulder. You've heard probably me say that a million times if you watch these, but reiterate, take a couple breaths here, go back down. How about you? Um, it's like more than one answer to that question. Um, definitely don't have to say Trixie Mattel is a special place in like famous drag queens wise to me. Um, don't comment on this and say Shangela was robbed. Yes, Shangela was robbed. I think Trixie should not have won, but I still love Trixie. Um, but I just really like the like the aesthetic that she uses, like it was what, 50s, 60s, like grandma prints and like pinks and neons and stuff like that, which is like my favorite color scheme. Um, but I would say in New York right now, my favorite drag queen is probably Jasmine Rice. Nice. I do enjoy this Jasmine Rice. My favorite drag name is Belinda Giant Chocolate. That's so good. Coming up on three minutes. Well, now we're breathing, now we're moving. If you have a favorite drag queen, drop on Instagram below. I will follow them. <laughs> Shameless plug. Your drag friends. <clears throat> what, are you, what number are you on top of seven? Okay, I guess I'm going out of sixes. We got our last three minutes coming up. If you made it this far without putting your weight down, let's really try to get to the end. You got less than three minutes to go. So let's try to see if you can make it there till the end. We got a break coming up after this. We gotta take a break. Coach Cole is going to explain the workout. That's next, the conditioning. Okay, just over two minutes. Stay breathing, stay moving. We're going to finish it here. Try and get back that next round, wherever you're at. Add a number from here on. Last two minutes coming up. Woo! Feeling the burn now. All right, hang in there. Less than two minutes to go. If you haven't put that weight down, you got this. You can do it. Just over a minute and a half. Good, exactly 90 seconds. Okay, hang on and breathe overhead if you need. Keep that dumbbell moving. Even if you put the dumbbell down, it's totally fine, all right? 
Keep it up. We got about over a minute to go. I know we can hang on to a dumbbell for a minute. Cool. Take some breaths. Focus on it. Give me a minute of movement. Sixty seconds. All right. Start my round of nine. Hang on. Not to beat me today. It's cruising. A lot of talking with those drag queens. Had you focus. The Madonna one actually threw me off a little bit. I would have liked some warning on that one had I known. Oh, that's interesting. Last 30 seconds. Here we go. Finish nice and strong. 25 seconds. 20 seconds. Hang on for a little bit over 10. Let's go. Stay in there. Cool, every rep happens. We'll do it. get a rep for the finish here. Don't just stay in the round. Four, five, four, three, two, and time. Woo. We'll put it down. That was 10 minutes. If you got into your round of nine and got half of the reps done, cool, comment that below. It's just a really good place if we repeat a very similar ascending ladder to watch yourself maybe get six one day and then 11 the next day or nine today and 10 the next week we do this. Cool, so pause, like, comment, subscribe while you're at it. Please put that score in the comments. I'm just interested to see who got some double digits, who is cruising, Madonna or Lady Gaga. And your favorite drag queen. If you want to share with Coach Cole so he can add to his drag queen following collection. Hey, I am support your queer entertainers. That's all I have to say. Ooh. We are building in Brooklyn today in New York City and it's hot. So hot. And the fans are off because we want you to be able to hear us. So hot. It's so humid. I'm actually sweating today. It's the humidity. Hey, what happened? Well, I'm a little sweaty. Sounds like you're like I'm crazy. Coach Cole, it's, a, it's an internal joke that Coach Cole never sweats, which he vehemently desires. No, I, I do sweat. All right, that was good. Needed that. We got a 15 minute conditioning piece coming up. Cool. Um, we're gonna do a 15 minute EMA. Uh, first four minutes are a certain amount of reps of work. Cool. Um, I would like you to use up that whole minute because on the fifth minute of our EMA, um, we will take rest. So we're gonna get three rounds of movements with one minute rest in between. We'll get a 15 minute workout in and we'll get out of here. All right, free full body today. Todd's gonna demo for me. Yeah, I am. He's ready. Ready. He's gonna start with five push ups for the day. From his feet or his knees is fine. Chest all the way down to the floor. Elbows are relatively neutral. Right back up. After his fifth push up, he's hopping up to the feet. Chest nice and tall. Hips back and down. 10 air squats. Just like so. Lovely air squat. Then he'll go side to side and touch the floor for 20 ski jumps. Cool. If you finish your 5, 10, and 20 in that whole minute, you can hang out and rest. That's awesome. Nice job. Cool. If not, work for the entire minute. When minute two beeps, we are doing as many sit-ups as possible for the whole minute. So Tal's going to touch the ground behind his head. Maybe hit Brooklyn. And he's going to touch the ground in front of his toes. Well, we are sitting up for 60 seconds, not 59, not a minute and one. We're going to use that whole minute. Minute three, we're back onto our feet for 10 per leg reverse lunges. Todd's gonna take a big step backward, make sure his back knee hits the floor, his front shin's nice and vertical. And he's gonna do 10 per leg, which is how many total, Brooklyn? 20. Good God, Brooklyn. Uh, after that, he's gonna find himself on the floor for a left side plank reach. He's gonna do 10 reps with his hand pointing to the sky. He's gonna reach down through and under and then reach back up, all right? 20 reverse lunges total, 10 per leg plus 10 of your left side reach. I know that was Todd's right side, it's okay. All right, on minute four, Todd's gonna hit 10 burpees. You can just do one for me. He's gonna hit the floor, and he's gonna stand back up, nice and simple. You can hop, you can step, whatever gets you down and up. Then he's gonna hit 10 right side plank reaches. Same exact movement, reaching up, reaching through, and then on minute five, you will rest. All right, the movements are gonna be up on the screen. We'll do them with you. Get started in about a minute. The last time I wore these foreign shorts, they were very popular. Three inch inseam. Got a lot of messages. They're from 10,000. 
10,000. 10,000, so 10,000. You can look for their orange three inch inseam shorts. Big fan. All right, we're rocking in 30 seconds for the day. Oh boy. All right, you get 60 seconds to think about this next question. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Rent or Hedwig and the Angry Inch? I've never seen either of them. Well, you got 60 seconds to figure out an answer. Hedwig, is that a Harry Potter thing? Oh my gosh. Five, so much to teach you. Four, three, two, one. We're starting off with five push-ups. Again, from your feet or your knees. I'm avoiding push-ups for the day. Never seen heel. Now we're doing 10 air squats. Like, I know what rent is, but you've never seen it. I can't. Just, you're breaking my heart. Oh, the cultural tradition. God, last time we filmed, you didn't know what SpongeBob was. So that's not true. I don't always know what SpongeBob was. Or who Squidward was. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> same thing. I don't know that it has the same LGBTQI equi uh, cultural equivalent. I would say it has some. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just smashing the top today. Twenty ski jumps. That's how many each side, Brooklyn. Ten. Good girl. Warm in here today, we're gonna get sweating. All right, when you get through those, you're gonna have a seat, get ready. We got setups coming up next. Set up 10 seconds. seconds. Whole minute. I'm gonna pick Hedwig because it sounds like Harry Potter's owl. Three, Three two, one, and reach behind. Touch the toes. Hedwig and the Angry Inch is a musical. Very, oh, see, I'm not a big show girl. Very famous musical about a, a um god how do i describe it it was a a guy that had a botched sex change operation okay that went on to be the lead singer of a band his name was Hedvig. characters was and the angry inch okay because of the botched surgery yeah so it's a rock musical so all the songs are rock telling the story doesn't quite sound like my jam but I super good like you asked me that question, it's head big in the game manage because when I was in college, Anthony Rapp, who was the original Mark and Rent, all this means nothing to you, I realize, nope. was head big for a season. We're up on our feet in three, two, one, ten reverse lunges, each leg. We're just going body weight, going nice and quick. He did a residency for the summer where he was head big, and for student tickets, you could get him tickets for $8 for the show. Oh wow. So we went like twice a week all summer. We saw the ship so many times. Yeah, it's got some sentimental value then. Yeah. But still, I mean, you gotta like add that to some cue. Once you finish those 10, find your left side for a 10 plank reach throughs. Don't be ashamed if you need to put your elbow on that. I have baby elbows, it's okay. Keep twisting. We have 10 seconds. If you finish, we are back up for 10 full burpees. Woo! Three, two, one. There we go. If Cosmo give me a nice fast paced 10, I will do burpees, but they're gonna be nice and slow because of his wrists. All right, still in it. Ten burpees up and down. If you're feeling like you're struggling through the burpees today, you can drop that burpee number down and do seven. All right, ten's gonna take you more than a minute to make it manageable. Do seven. We get some planks on our right side. So coming up. Remember, we got rest next. Whole minute of rest. You got ten seconds. Four, three, two, and rest. Cool. Ooh. Nice job for one round down. We're gonna do two more. We'll be out of here. It is definitely not cold in this gym. Well, we wanted summer. Here it is. We do want summer. All right, 90s a bit much. I'm a 75, 78, maybe 80 kind of guy. Well, 
the humidity. Yeah. What well, kills it? Are you, you have to have an answer to this. Yeah. Who? What family member did you come out to first? The answer is more like what family member discovered first. Sure. Okay. Um, probably not. I think my mom. But like very simultaneously, my dad probably. How did they discover this then? They looked for my phone. Oh. All right. Back, Back to round one. With five push-ups, ten air squats, twenty ski jumps, and dodging that question. <laughs> In five, four, oh, man. three, two, one. Todd's got these push-ups for me. I'm ready for some air squats. Well, interesting story. Six. My brother was the first person that I told. I have two brothers, but my middle brother. And when I told him, he's like, yeah, I already know. I was like, wait, how did you know? He's like, well, a couple years ago, I went through your search history and your computer when you weren't home. And that's how I knew. And then I felt so guilty about what I did that I just like never told anybody. So if he had a lot of time to process it, right. and so it went very well, it inspired me to tell the rest of my family. It did go so well. And it did not go so oh. well. I told them, long story short. On the floor for AMRAP sit-ups in five, four, three, two, here we go. I'm gonna breathe it. 20 years later, they still don't talk to me, so. What are you gonna do? Too many people. All right, sit-ups. Whole minute of sit-ups. We're sweating, summer's Ooh, coming here. Yes, we are. Besides this video, we have 10 minute ad videos. Got a bunch of them on the site. Summer is here. So, after this workout, especially if this is your first time joining us, and you still have a little bit of energy, you can go grab one of those. Ab workout videos and do a little cash out, a little end workout. I don't know that you're gonna have energy though. Oh, I'm not, I'm not. 20 seconds. We got reverse lunges coming up next. Last 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, reverse lunge. Just on those feet. Cool, just step in and breathe. 10 per leg, 20 total. Who's your favorite Sex and the City character? Um. Um. Cool. Take your time. No. Mine's I want it to be the mix of two. That's fine, that's the value. I want it to be the mix of Kim Cartrell and the very proper. It's a valid answer because they're all really pigeonholed characters, so it's actually very hard to be like, I relate to this one because they're all very sad. Charlotte. And Charlotte and Sanford, and who really sees Charlotte for you? <laughs> I don't want to take that as a compliment, but I don't know. Okay, not a lot of time. 10 seconds to go, and then we're going into burpees. Finish those twists back on the feet. Three, two, one, hit the deck. We're past halfway for this workout today. So keep yourself moving, keep yourself grooving. Let's get fitness done. Hang on. Ten burpees, side plank reach to us. Remember, we got rest next, so let's do this. 20 seconds. Find your right. About 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. And rest. Again, here we can stay seated. You can get up if you want. We have one more round to get done. Oh my goodness. We are out of here. Hopefully you're as sweaty as we are. Ooh. We got four more minutes to work. That's it. Four more minutes to work. We're gonna get you out of here.
celebrity crush, like currently, or? Yeah, let's start there. 30 um, seconds. I'll tell you mine, I don't remember his name, but he was like the lead on How to Make It in America. Adrian something. Oh, I know who that is. His um, character in that show is actually like what my crush is. So I don't know what he's like in real life. <laughs> we got 10 seconds, then we're going back to the top. Starting with those five push-ups, 10 air squats, 20 ski jumps. Six, five, four, three, carry us home, Todd. One, and push-ups, here we go. And we're up and down, 10 air squats. Um, I don't have like, I've never been a super A-lister celebrity crush. Like all That's my celebrity crushes are like B's or like weird. Sure, why not? Like, Instagram famous people. Um, um, all right, who's your uh, Instagram this... famous one then? Oh, well, those are embarrassing. <laughs> um, I would say if you're so shoot suits. Harvey Specter is definitely like up there on my list of people I'm to. Um, and personality has a lot to do with that, even though I know it's not true. Personality is distinct, but. About 10 seconds. Sit up for next. Butterfly also, have you ever seen Tom Holland do the umbrella dance? That was also celebrity cross material. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last time for sit ups. Well, we didn't have pride last year, or at least virtual pride. It was virtual. Mm -hmm. Kind of fun. So this is our return. I just ended up being like, oh cool, I'm drunk alone and it's over. <laughs> and now I gotta go to bed. That was great. Right. I feel like although that happens that's to like be, most Friday nights for me. That happens to be a normal social event too. I'm like, oh, great, I'm drunk alone at home. <laughs> Not just virtual one. We got about 20 more seconds of sit-ups. Then we're going into reverse lunges. It's my least favorite part about alcohol is that I'm a big person of as soon as I'm done doing activities, I don't want to be drunk anymore. Yeah. And there's nothing I can do not to be drunk. I hate that. <laughs> That's why I don't turn it off. That's why I don't drink that much. Six, five, reverse lunges in two, one, ten each leg. Last time we're on this movement. I, I embarrassingly went to virtual pride and got myself like sitting in my bed clapping. And like my camera's not allowed to, or my mic's not allowed to be on. So I was like, what? I'm, no one's hearing me clapping right now. That's alright, you can you don't have to hold in the enthusiasm for myself. Get through these lunges, side plank grease suits. We're gonna finish off with burpees. We're gonna get them all done, all ten. You got about 20 seconds. Hang on for me. Get the quick 10 reads through. Five, four, three, two, up and down. Let's go outfit. Last two seconds. seconds. Last minute. Well, I don't care if you like Madonna or Lady Gaga better. We still are doing burpees nonetheless to make it happen. And if you like Madonna, you're doing 11 burpees. <laughs> You're just trying to slow me up. Just about 30 seconds. <clears throat> Finish those burpees. Find the floor. Give me 10 plank twists. You can go all the way through that minute if you want. I'll count you down. Here we go. We got 15 seconds to work today. 11. Hang on. Finish off that course. Last line of oblique, obliques. 5. Keep twisting. Three, two, one, and you whew, may rest. Way to finish it out, Todd. Get all 10 reps in. Woo! I don't know if it's the heat or what, but Todd and I were moving today. Oh. It's warm in this gym, I'll tell you that. It is. 
Well, nice job, everybody. If you did this in your air-conditioned apartment, consider me jealous. This is what you're missing out on. This is what you're missing out on, yeah. Full sweat. All right, so we're gonna get you out of here. A couple quick things. Please, 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 if you haven't already, but you made it this far, like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're on, we're on a mission to get to a thousand, so every subscription helps. Um, if you're in the New York City area, we have Pride workouts happening Pride weekend. So we have them Friday night in Brooklyn, actually right in this facility. Yep. And then we have them Saturday morning in um, Manhattan at the Willie B in the Bowery. So uh, hopefully if you go, there are still tickets available. Otherwise, we have workouts every week here in New York City in Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Queens. You can find Coach Cole, myself, Brooklyn, all of our Instagram accounts. If you want to send Coach Cole um, your favorite drag queen, please go ahead and do that. And if you haven't already, please leave a comment that tells me how far you got in the workout. Um, it's The more people that leave comments, the more reference we have for how well people are doing the workouts, which lets us adjust the programming in the future. The more videos we can put up as well. So. Yeah. So with all that being said, I'm Coach Todd. I'm Spidey. That's Coach Cole. That's Brooklyn hanging out here. We'll see you next time. Take care. Oh.